As the conflict rages on, we're seeing what's called the fog of war. Information and in images that are spreading fast from battlefields, but that are not always accurate. Yeah, so tonight, KSL investigator Matt Gephardt breaks down a few of the tools that journalists use to try and determine fact from fiction here and how you can use them to verify the information that you find online. A ferocious battle. Uh, the Russian soldiers were... The fastest access to the powerful images coming out of Ukraine is not the nightly news. During two and a half days into Russia's... Oh, yeah. It is your cell phone. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all on the front lines of information. That is a fact that has truth watchdogs nervous. The nonprofit journalist organization Pointer warning reporters to be extra careful verifying images as examples emerge. For example, the AP says people are sharing images of a 2015 warehouse fire, saying that it shows modern imagery from Ukraine. And Reuters fact check says that a photograph circulating online of an injured girl is from 2018 and was taken during the Syrian war, not Russia's invasion of Ukraine, as some users claim. There are a handful of techniques that we journalists use to verify an image's veracity, but they're techniques that really anybody can use. So tonight, let's break a few of them down. Every time that a picture is taken with a smart device, underneath it's full of data. Using what's called a metadata viewer, you can see all sorts of information, including the date the photo was taken and where on earth it was taken. But perhaps the easiest and most important tool to debunk images is Google. Google has an offshoot, images.google.com. Unlike regular Google, you'll see it has a little camera icon. Click it, and you can paste a URL or upload a photo, and Google will search the internet for other places that image has appeared. Take, for example, this photo of a soldier firing around. Is it from Ukraine? No. Google found this exact same photo on literally hundreds of websites, including a message board from five years ago. Here behind me, we can see the result of today's explosion. Any journalist will tell you if you didn't see it with your own eyes, it can be tough to be 100% sure that an image is real. But these tools can help out weed out the images that are not real. In Salt Lake City, Matt Gephardt, KSL 5 News.